Hi guys, today we're going to see what the automatic bids for auctions are and how to configure them using our Git Auctions for WooCommerce plugin. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So, in online auctions, there can be two types of bids. You can have the manual bid, where the user has to type his bid, and when this bid is exceeded by another user, he has to go back to the auction and manually place a new bid. Then there's the automatic bid, where the user enters the maximum price he is willing to pay for the item being auctioned. And so, the system raises the bids automatically until it reaches the amount set as maximum by that user. Most of the platforms that host online auctions, like eBay, use an automatic bidding system. And this feature, of course, is available in our plugin, so we're going to see how to configure that. We're going to go to the dashboard, to ETH, Auctions, General, Auction Options. We're going to scroll down, and here we have the Set Bid Type option. This is set to Manual by default, but we're going to change it to automatic. Once we change this option, these new options appear. The first one is automatic bid type. We have simple and advanced. If we choose simple, we have this field below for automatic bid increment, where we can enter the amount that is going to be automatically increased by the system, okay? So if I enter here $5, Let's say I'm bidding on an auction and I set a maximum bid of $100. For each offer an opposing user makes, the system will automatically bid $5 more each time an opposing user makes a bid until the current bid reaches $100, which was the limit that was set by me as a user. When we get to the $100, the system will no longer place automatic bids because the maximum amount set by me has been reached. So, if I want to continue participating in the auction, I'm going to have to manually place a new bid. Of course, the amount set for the automatic increment often depends on the value of the product that's being auctioned. Like, let's say I'm selling a motorcycle that's worth $10,000. Of course, it's going to make sense to have an automatic increment of up to $300 at a time. But if I'm auctioning a perfume that's worth $50, then an automatic increment of $5 makes more sense, right? So for this, what we can do is change from a simple to an advanced automatic bid type. You see that the options below changed. I don't have just one field to complete now, I have more. So, we now have the option to define different increment amounts depending on the current bid of the product being auctioned. For example, we can say that with a current bid from star price to $50, the automatic increment should be $5. And we're going to add a second rule right here by clicking on Add Rule. So, the next rule is going to be with a current bid from $50 to $100, the automatic bid increment is going to be $10 instead. And since I can create infinite rules based on every price range, I'm going to add another rule. And this one is going to be from $100 to $1,000. The automatic bid increment is going to be $50. Finally, this is the last rule with a current bid from $1,000 onwards. We're going to set an automatic bid increment of $300, like the motorcycle example. We're also going to enable this option, show the bid increments in the page, and this other option, show automatic bidding model info. This is an option to show a model window that explains how automatic bidding works. We're going to see that in the product page. This is useful for users that do not know how automatic bidding works. And we're also going to enable this option, ask for approval before a bid is confirmed, so that bidders see a model window asking them to confirm the bid. Save options. And let's go to the shop to see what the user sees. 
let's say I'm a user and I want to place a bid for this perfume. I'm going to click here. So this is the auctions page. The current bid, which is the starting price, is $30. And here you can see that the automatic increment for this current bid is $5. Now, above the area where we can place a bid, we have this, your automatic bid with a question mark. Here, I'm going to click on the question mark and I get this message explaining how these automatic bids work. You can enter the maximum you're willing to pay for this item. Our system will bid for you and so on. So now that we know how it works, I'm going to close this and I'm going to set $70 as the maximum I'm willing to pay for this perfume. And now we get this new message where we need to confirm that the maximum we want to bid is $70. I'm going to click on yes, I want to bid. And my bid was placed successfully. Since no one else has placed a bid, mine is listed as the highest bid for now for this perfume for women. The description says my maximum bid is $70. Now, Let's simulate that another user with another profile wants to place a bid. I'm going to access this auction from a different browser with another account. There, I haven't placed a bid for this perfume with this account yet. If I scroll down to the bids list, we can see the automatic bid placed with the other account. Since the current bid is 30, I'm going to place a bid for 35. I get the first message to confirm my bid, but once I confirm that, I get this error message informing me that there is a higher bid for this auction than the one I tried to place, so I need to try a new offer. This is because I set a maximum automatic bid of 70 with my first account. Let's see the bids list, let's scroll down. So here we see that the starting price was $30, right? And I have just placed a bid for $35 with this second account that I'm in right now, with this second account. But since I set a maximum automatic bid of $70 with my first account and the automatic increment is $5 when the current bid is less than $50, the system placed an automatic bid of $40 for my first account. So, the system basically made an immediate counteroffer for me. Now, what if I wanted to place a bid with this second account of $80 for this perfume? 80 bid. I get the same message to confirm my bid. Yes, I want to bid. I successfully bid. $80 and I am the highest bidder now. If we scroll down, you'll see that the first account's automatic bid was updated to $70, taking into account that it was the maximum I was willing to pay with my first account and that another user, this second account's user, placed a higher bid. The system won't raise the offer again because mine is $80 and I have surpassed the maximum bid of $70 that was set by the first user account. Now, this first user, the one whose maximum automatic bid of 70 has been exceeded by another user, will receive an email. Let's see that email. So this is the email that the first user would get. You have been outbid. Another buyer has placed a higher maximum bid for the item perfume for women in this case. And the price is now $80. You can still outbid with a new offer. The user will have a link right here that will direct him to the auctions page so that he can place a new bid manually because his maximum bid has been exceeded. Okay guys, that's how you can configure automatic bids for your auctions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.